What's going on guys? Welcome back to Oriental Empires Part 2. I uh, definitely wanted to show off the combat system because we didn't get to do that in the first episode. So we're definitely going to do it today. And uh, for some reason, my advisor here, there's actually a lady here. She doesn't always show. It's kind of weird. Maybe she doesn't have anything to say. Possible. Uh, I left off last time wondering whether or not these troops are costing us any money. And right now, uh, if we have a look at our financial summary here, it says that our army upkeep currently costs 65. This is, by the way, the only expense we have at the moment. Um, but this seems to not include these bandits because if we have a look at our uh, finances of our capital, it's, it shows the expense of 68, uh, or 65 as well, which is only the garrison that we have built. So it seems like these bandits do not cost upkeep they're basically free troops which is incredibly amazing so uh i think what we'll do um the thing is it's like we, where have we encountered these bandits somewhere over here so it's going to be quite a while until we get there um if we move here that's one two three four five turns and with our army here, that would be two, well, well, t technically it would be three turns as well, which is pretty annoying because we have to cross the river. But I think I will do that instead. I will actually get these troops out there. And I will probably, what I will do is I'll have our leader go back to the capital and then everyone else, I will probably have go somewhere else like maybe here then you can go here we'll have them scout basically you go here and then i don't know where i sent you but okay you can't go there that's interesting um maybe you just stay put as well i don't know if this is actually the way i wanted it but either way let's just go move forward uh one stack has no order yeah that seems to be this one then uh, let's send you here. That should be fine. One of your stacks isn't in a garrison and has no movement orders. You know what? I think this... You know what? Who that is? That's probably you. That's probably you. Um, but... Okay, let's, let's go over here because I don't want these settlers to be attacked. This should be fine. Alright, there we go. So we have our garrison moving out now, which... Is cool. They've already only kind of in the river right now. Just waiting for orders. <laughs> very nice. Uh, it doesn't always properly show the movement, but now it does. Very nice. Uh, I don't know what they're waiting for, but anyway. So we see the the nobles are here in the back, and then these peasants, these spearmen, are right in the front. Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be the first to die. And they they meet our settlers. Very nice. And it does take a while to cross. I hope that you could build bridges and stuff. It, it would make sense if that's if that's a possibility. But I haven't yet seen that option. Okay, anyways. I think we'll move up a little bit faster. Uh, we use these bandits to scout. Um, yeah, I think that's really the best idea. Okay, you can cross. You scout here. You scout there. And you scout this. Very, very nice. Then we've got our leader coming back to the capital. And then this army. Now, if only I could remember. Let's go here. If only I could remember where the enemies are. Where were the bandits? Oh, there we go. Okay, so found them. Now, I could try and somehow approach them from from the sides, but I don't think I'm going to do these kind of shenanigans. I think what we will do uh, is, uh, yeah, so we have to set our orders. Mm. So basically, you see down here that uh, you see all the skills, all the stats of these, of your forces. They have attack stats, they have har harass stats, they have defense, and other things as well, movement and, and morale. Uh, and obviously, this 
differs from uh, troop type to troop type. You know, as you as you research more technology, your forces obviously get stronger, and there's always going to be a difference between nobles and peasants. Mostly, nobles are you know better equipped and usually have a lot more morale as well, but have a few, uh, yeah, f just fewer troops overall. And then there's a few other things you can do. You can set battle plans for your troops. So you have the standard one. It's an attack where basically your troops simply advance in a line and uh, yeah, move to attack. This is something that you should probably do for most of your standard infantry. Then you also have the charge uh, button, which is if you're just pursuing someone, maybe this is good for cavalry as well. Um, but usually you don't want to do that necessarily because it's just it's a blind charge without you know taking taking flanking abilities or, or, you know, harassing the enemy or stuff like that. Uh, then you've got uh, the harass tactic, which, um, yeah, well, it, it explains it down here. Um, I think this is for archers, mostly. Then outflanking is for cavalry, so it's ambush. This is actually uh, really effective in forest terrain. Uh, so this is what I meant. I could actually, if I'm not being seen, I could kind of get around, set up in the forest, and then flank these two guys to set up an ambush, which gives a lot of bonuses. But um, yeah, I think this is going to be pretty difficult to pull off, as you will see soon. And then there are some more defensive stances you can do, supporting and retreating as well. Um, we're not going to be able to check out all of this. I would think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm simply just going to go with the standard attack move. I think this is fine. And we can also set a formation. Right now we have two lines. I think, yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. And then you can also change the facing of your troops. Now, this is important, especially when retreating, because apparently it matters a lot if you are being attacked in the back or not. So, for example, if you've got various troops, you can, you know, set them, set them up um, to, yeah, well, phase into different directions. And so if you have various troops in one tile, I think you can set them up uh, so that... Actually, no, you can't. Okay, they can only ever face one. That's kind of sad. I thought you would be able to have, you know, one unit facing this way, another one this way, just to kind of, you know, protect against all sides. But apparently that's not possible. Okay, anyway, um, I will simply have everyone face forward. I hope that is facing forward anyways. Yes, okay. And with that, we'll simply tell all of our troops that we are ready. So let's let's actually let's move here. Uh, here's what I will do. I will move the peasants here, and I will move you here, and then the axemen, the nobles. I'll probably have them go into the forest. Um, and we'll just see how that goes. Not sure if that's a smart tactic. Um, and apparently we do not have... Uh, technology selected. Okay. We do have one in power. We could go for prong bronze armor. Advanced bronze casting. Metalwork. Jade working. Silk. I think we'll do... Hmm. Pottery workshop. This allows us foundry. I think we'll go for the armor. I think this could be really, really helpful. Yeah, okay. Anyways, we can now finally end our turn. Stack without orders. Uh, damn. Which one is that now? Our farmers? Now I kind of forgot where I wanted to settle my city. It's sort of a problem. Um... Uh, was it? It wasn't here. Hmm. But either way, I will send you here. That should be fine now that our troops have arrived. And anyone else? Oh. Is that all of our... That's our bandits. Okay. Let them explore some more. And what's this? Copper. Interesting. You can't get there. Oh, there's an encounter possibility? Let's go here. You still have your moves. Let's go here. And you are actually still trying to cross, which is fine. Okay, let's finally move on. Oh, wait, what? Still a stack without orders? What the hell is going on? That's 
kind of weird. Which one? Oh, have I built? Oh, I, I built one here. I see. Um. Okay, so I constructed more garrison here. Yeah, I should probably not do that. That's kind of unnecessary. So, what can I do with those guys? First of all, where can I see what they are? Shouldn't it show me? Uh, that's you. That's you. Hmm. It doesn't quite show me what army this is. It's not. I'm really confused as to which army does not have an action right now. One of your stacks isn't in a garrison and has no movement orders. Alright, so it was one of those stacks, apparently. Okay, anyways, we can see we can see the first battle now. Uh, so, yeah, the troops only, obviously, move at the end of a turn. And then, yeah, you don't know when they, ex when they attack exactly. Uh, usually they meet if they're, I think if they're two, um, two tiles away, then they actually engage. As you can see, now, uh, according to our battle plans, our troops are trying to do things. If we had just gone for a charge, they would have simply attacked. But because we went for, you know, normal attacks, they... I mean, I don't actually know what they're doing necessarily, but usually we try some flanks. Not a huge priority, but look at this. These guys are now routed, and we had our troops over here uh, trying to catch them and kill a few more. And they're running away, and yeah, we somehow can't pursue them, which... Is a little bit sad. I don't know how it would have been. It would have been different had I sent my troops to go over here, maybe. Um, I don't fully understand the combat system yet. Obviously, I haven't played that much, but um, it's interesting. It certainly has a very strategic, uh, well, part to it. And uh, after this fight, our troops will rearrange uh, according to where we put them. Although that also doesn't seem to be always true. Because you should actually be here. Uh, it does take a while for them to uh, arrange. And then we somehow have vision on those guys as well. Uh, trying to catch them through the forest is going to be very terrible. So I so far have, have had a lot of problems actually killing troops. They always seem to be able to get away. Um, but yeah. So, uh, I'm not sure if what we're waiting for right now. I think we might wait for some of the bandits. Maybe want for this encounter to go through. Uh, at the end of this, we will also get a battle report that will tell us exactly what has happened. Um, so we have brought 162 people to the fight. Uh, most, of them, most of them are peasants. We also lost 8 peasants and 3 nobles. That's actually pretty bad. Now, uh, if you remember, uh, this army probably, this was the one that was holding back. So it, uh, yeah, it would have been much more effective if we had all of them in the fight directly. But this is, I guess, where it come, where you know the unit diversity comes in. You have cavalry and stuff like this to actually flank. Uh, infantry simply can't flank that effectively. Um, but anyway, that's just me. That's just my ideas here. So we killed. They brought sixty-six men, and. About half of them survived, half were killed. So we're obviously much more effective. It also shows experience gained and how many enemies were killed. So this, in actually, this infantry was, was really good. They were waiting, killed 10 men, but didn't lose anyone because they were retreating. Um, you took the brunt of the damage and the nobles actually did a really good job killing quite a few people. Uh, it also shows 
the experience gained. I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't show the total. Because uh, right now, you would you'd think nobody gained any experience, but that's not true. There's actually one peasant who's now stronger. I also don't know what that experience does, but I assume it makes them stronger somehow. Um, but yeah, that's the battle report we have. And then we also should have a encounter over here. Oh, no, you know what? We don't get the encounter because you have to actually send a character here for that to work. So that was actually my bad. All right, well, I will send you guys here. And there's another possible encounter, but we actually need to send our ruler here in order to do that. So I think I will send them right there to check this out. Yeah, other than that, um, those are our nobles. I would love for our peasants to try and catch them. But as you can see, we can move into the forest and then that's kind of it. There's not much else we can do. I think we'll send our nobles up here and we'll go with... Actually, the peasants can go through the forests. That's interesting. All right, let's do that. And then you guys, I simply move in here. You might still be able to engage them. We'll have to see. Okay, let's check this out. Once again, a stack without orders. Yeah, that's... Those are our bandits now, okay. All right, there seems to be a new city. Let's check that one out. Then... I'll send you here. Check out the formation battle plans. Yes, I just did that. Okay, everyone else should be good. Move on. And there is... I don't know, an enemy army, bodyguard, hostile. So this is one of the new factions, or yeah, one of the factions we met. They have their city here. Um, we might engage them as well. There seems to be a battle going on. I completely missed this battle. Wow, okay. There you go. So apparently our troops did catch them. We had our nobles send around and then our peasants here. And they are now able to cross the river, which is gonna make it more difficult to catch them once again. But that's okay. Anything else happening? We definitely need to do something about this ruler here. Perhaps we're going to send our own. Um, perhaps even a few more troops. Just to see. Okay, we don't have vision on them here. A uh, new power have has been encountered. Bar. Um, let us hope they are either weak or friendly. Okay. So we can now go to the diplomacy and check out what they do. We have no formal relationship, their attitude is polite, and we are at peace for nine turns. They're weaker than we are, but their wealth is adequate, and they are stable. Um, so we could see what we can do here. There's various things, uh, payments, uh, you can pay the money, as in tribute, um, which is really cool. Like, regular payments, so this is, this doesn't have an end, which is actually really cool. For the duration of the agreement. Um, yeah, other agreements, fraternal harmony, declare war on each other for 40 turns. That's interesting. Oh, not to declare war. I was just gonna like, what? Okay, so there's, yeah, that's like a non-aggression pact, defensive alliances, becoming vassals, and recognize emperor, which is basically the whole point of this game, to become emperor of China. So you can do that diplomatically, but that's... Seems to be pretty difficult. You have to have really good relations and stuff. Or maybe have them as your vassal first. It's kind of hard to say. Don't know how that works. Um, yeah, you can give over your settlements, which we're not going to do. Declare war and trade embargo and that uh, stuff like that. I do believe once you get later into the game, you can actually trade things like uh, copper and whatnot as well. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't show any trade agreements here, so maybe that's the... That's the default. It's kind of hard to say. Um, so we're currently not at war, it seems like. Although it says that they are hostile. It says they're polite here. But when I checked the... When I have it over there, force over here that we can't see for some reason. Uh, it said that they were hostile. So I wonder if I can... I can move in here. I guess we'll just find out what's happening. I hope we're not going to attack anyone, but I guess we'll we'll see. And then 
Yeah, I don't even see the bandits anymore. I think what we'll do is we'll actually retreat and have you guys stand down because I don't need you anymore. And then as for you settlers, damn. Mm, where did I want to put you? Actually, the map extends quite far still, so it wouldn't be too bad to have an, to have a city here. Uh, we do have the mulberries and rhinoceros here, which could be useful. But that's pretty far away from our other cities. So I think instead, I would like... One, two... Well... I guess we'll have a city here. I think that's probably good. Okay. And we do need... Yeah, we need technology. Um, knowledge. So we finished the composite bow. I think I want to go for horse domestication. Just so that we can have more... Well, more varied armies, I guess. More diverse armies. Okay. And I guess we'll move on. So the stack is once again without orders. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, that's you. Okay. Let's go here. Just explore. And now I don't think we can some... Yeah. Oh, actually we can cross these hills. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and do that. You're all moving. You're all moving. And you should be on your way anyways. Okay. So, don't think we're going to encounter any more fights we simply passed here without any problems i don't think they're gonna get mad if we have troops stationed in their borders which maybe they should be it's kind of hard to say now um i wonder i do actually wonder if we should maybe attack this small group because they are obviously inferior to us we have due to these bandits we have a huge advantage right now um, so maybe we should use this press our advantage and attack them destroy their leader that could cause some problems um oh okay we must declare war i see so we're not at war it still says that they're somehow hostile maybe it just says this because they're a different faction that's that's possible as well okay let's just go here this seems to be marsh terrain or stuff like that all right, so um, we've explored a little bit more of the map and uh, we've seen a few of the battles. Uh, it's interesting to say the least. Obviously, the battles are the, the thing that looks more uh, like Total War, whereas the map itself is more reminiscent, re reminiscent of, the, uh, of Civilization. But uh, it's still somewhat difficult to, uh, to kind of understand the war mechanics, the battle mechanics, because... In Total War, you have you have a real-time battle in the sense that you can give orders in real time that affect your troops. Whereas here, you kind of have to set this before the end of the turn, and then the AI does this. Um, this, you know, is interesting, uh, but makes it also very difficult because if you, well, if you've gave, given the wrong command, then this could be detrimental to your troops. But yeah, anyways, I think I will end this episode here today. We've met our first enemy civilization. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've fought a few bandits. We were successful, of course. Um, once again, I, I guess you guys simply let me know what you think of this game. If you want to see more. And um, yeah, I'll I'll see how much, well, how you guys react to it. And uh, if I'm longing to play this. And then we'll make this a full series. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll see. Anyways, that was it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.